There are so many things you can notice just from this one picture. Number one is obviously the fake smile, but this is not what I want to talk about only in this video because there is something going on between Megan and Oprah and also, yes, Ellen DeGeneres. What is going on? In these pictures, I will explain to you very clearly, but let's take a look at her smile. This is a forced smile. I mean, you do not have to be a body language expert. She is forcing herself to look like she is happy. She's, you know, um, very excited to be there. And on the other hand, you have this person who is not faking it. Therefore, he is not smiling. <laughs> okay. He actually doesn't smile every time his wife is with him. She, on the other hand, never cares. She always is she is always ready for the camera. This time she's also looking at the camera, not at her husband, not at anybody else. And nobody else at the same time is looking at her. <laughs> okay, so let me explain what happened. So this is basically an event they went together. I'll show these uh, pictures in a second. But they went to uh, this uh, charity event, according to Daily Mail or Daily Fail, they're saying that this is a desperate attempt from Meghan and Harry to win over Hollywood. But obviously, they have failed miserably. I will sh I'll tell you why. And I will actually talk to you about something very, very interesting. So Sussexes are all smiles as they are given star billing at Kevin Costner's fundraiser. So they went there on Friday. Take a look at some of these pictures. This is the first one they posted. And I can clearly see that, again, this is a woman. She is really not very much interested in what the first responders do she's very much interested in what she does <laughs> okay and how she is coming on the camera that's all she cares about she doesn't care about invictus the veterans the first responder no nobody else it is about me 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 she went there she is faking the smile and this uh, person uh, looks like he managed to actually have some courage to smile uh, when she is uh, with him because he needs her permission looks like <laughs> okay and then you have this woman uh, and other people with her who are not looking at her whatsoever take a look at all of these people they are acting their you know their behavior and this individual here they do not care. They're snubbing Meghan Markle altogether. They don't care. I mean, the way Meghan Markle wants to be presented in the media uh, in front of uh, the camera is that everybody is cheering her on. Everybody is so busy with her. It's me, 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 me. But look at these people. These are first responders. They're not even looking at her. And this is not the, the just the one picture that shows that. But all of these pictures, I have never seen one person looking at Meghan Markle thinking, oh, she is here. I mean, you know, Duchess of Sausages or Surrogate. Uh, so that's the second thing I have noticed. Now, she is having some, uh, you know, uh, photo session <laughs> with these people. And um, this person, he is uh, absolutely excited, looks like, you know, he's delighted to be there. And this individual too, they're all fire firefighters. This is also a firefighter. They are very, very happy posing for the camera. But look at Megan. She was again snubbed. She is not in the middle of the camera. And that you have also this lady not looking at Megan Markle either saying, yeah, thank you for coming. So the f main focus of the event was never Megan Markle. She was snubbed. And I will show you one more, actually a couple of more pictures then you will know what I'm talking about. So again, miss the opportunity to be the center of attention. Narcissistic people, they fume inside when that happens. Okay, just to let you know. And then you also have this picture where she was almost sidelined. Okay, she was standing right here and the rest of the people were, who were posing for the camera, they were standing um, away from her. But obviously she was, looks like she was uh, desperate. She was uh, touching this woman's back. Uh, this woman was touching her back and she was like, yeah, 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 come, come together. We are together. Uh, but obviously nobody was really um, caring that Megan was there uh, the way she wants us to believe the narrative, if you remember. So again, this is a family photo. Looks like uh, Costner, Megan had a picture backstage at the event with host Kevin Costner. Now, the main point of this video, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. So again, another picture, fake smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Um, by the way, if you do not know how to smile in front of a camera, 
you can probably take a course with Megan Markle. She, she, she should be actually on uh, Twitter or Instagram or X now, uh, telling people that um, she has started a, a program where she will be teaching uh, people who do not know how to sm fake a smile uh, and she can make actually good money. Uh, she does that all the time. Look, at another one, fake smile. Like she is forcing herself. We can see it. See, right? Like look at the eyes. She is like, the eyes are closed. This is not a, a smile when the person is excited or happy. Uh, this is a, f a forced smile because she knows the camera is looking at her and she doesn't really like the first responder. She doesn't like to be go going to this kind of party especially when she is not the center of the attention. So again, fake smile, fake smile, fake smile. Now, let's uh, show you a few more. So she's giving something to somebody. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Hattie is giving this award. Uh, she is at the back and clapping, you know. Thank God she was not like, mm -hmm. <laughs> remember what she did uh, during Invictus? Mm -hmm. uh, thank God she didn't do that, overreacting. And then you also have, the reason I'm showing you this picture, I will reveal, I will tell you why. And then you also have uh, this person, very, very careful with his smile, but looks like to me his smiles were genuine, okay? He was um, there because he was enjoying the company of those you know, first responders, but uh, obviously Megan didn't feel that way. Now, this is what I really wanna talk about, Oprah. Okay, so she was there too. Now remember this, uh, uh, you know, participation of Megan and Harry in this event. It was a surprise uh, appearance, okay, from Megan and Harry. In other words, Oprah most likely, uh, Ellen and DeGeneres, they did not know Megan was coming. Most likely, I could be wrong, but it looks like she they did not know. The reason it is important is because if they knew Megan and Harry was were coming there, I am assuming that Oprah would not have appeared she would not have come. Why I'm saying that? Well, just take a look at the rest of the pictures because the more you take a look at these pictures closely, the more you will know what, I'm, what I mean. So Oprah here, you know, again, uh, faking her love for the, fire, the first responder. She doesn't love anybody. She's just another narcissistic person. Remember the fire uh, in Maui, I think? And she was there to raise fund. Can you imagine this billionaire? She has billions of dollars. She's asking for donation. <laughs> She's asking people, oh, you can donate. I mean, where is your money? Uh, but that's uh, beside the point. Let's uh, uh, take a look at this. Another fake smile from Megan. And um, she is trying desperate to be relevant. She is trying desperate to, um, you know, connect with her husband this time and with this individual because she, is, she knows nobody is going to care for her, that she exists. So she is forcing herself into the circle. But again, uh, nobody cares. And then take a look more. So I want you to really focus on these pictures because I'm gonna be telling you something very, very shocking. And then you also have this woman again, not caring who Megan is and these people, they don't care. Um, as Megan wants us to believe, they care, oh my gosh, she's here. And then you also have, um, you know, this person, David Costner and Harry uh, chit-chatting. And then she's again, uh, forcing herself into the conversation. Um, trying to look uh, relevant to the events, even though she's not. Who is she? I mean, why she, she would be going there for, for the first responder? It doesn't make any sense. And then another picture you have, Oprah, okay, this couple, the couple were joined by their good friend, Oprah, means, uh, you know, they're talking about Megan and Harry. The talk show host who conducted the royal couples in famous explosive interview in 21. So again, you see, old friend, good old friend, Oprah is there, Oprah is there. And then uh, they were having some fun. They were chit-chatting again, fake smile. The smile is so fake and it is so obvious that uh, nobody should miss it. And then, yeah, she was like, yeah, give me a hug, give me a hug. Uh, nobody knew she was coming. I, I think if they knew, they would not have come. Um, so surprise, surprise, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> and then more interaction with the crowd and with Harry. Nobody talks to her, so what she does, she is clinging on to Harry. Look, her hand, she, she's clinging on to Harry. Oh, Harry, please talk to me. Nobody's talking to me. What should I do? I do not want to become completely irrelevant. Talk to me. She's holding on to Harry and like begging him almost. Uh, please talk to me uh, or at, at least pretend that you're talking to me. And then you also have some other pictures. Harry is here. 
and Megan is here uh, and again nobody cares look at these people they don't care about Megan Harry uh, some of them are actually very upset seeing Megan Harry there because they did not expect them to come uh, as I said this was a uh, surprise appearance then looked uh, they were taking more photos and more fake smile um, as a group maybe it was Harry who wanted to take a picture with him uh, with this individual but then Megan popped up and she's like ah, you have to take a picture with me and then more award more more picture more fakeness I'm so excited I'm so happy you know faking it <laughs> but again we can see right through it and then more interaction with the society you know, with the people uh, the community and again Oprah is there talking with this individual and then um, again Megan oh I'm so happy to be here I'm so glad and this and that uh, she doesn't care now why I'm talking or showing you these pictures okay this is the main point of this video in all of these pictures that we are seeing right now there is absolutely no picture of Megan Harry and Oprah or Ellen DeGeneres there is absolutely no picture why because Ellen and Oprah they snubbed Megan and Harry they did not want to be seen with these duplicitous duos they know it is not good for their PR Oprah is facing a lot of backlashes not just from the interview she did with Meghan Harry but also what is she is doing right now remember all the uh, accusations against Oprah talking about you know trafficking and human trafficking and all that if you do not know you can google it she knows this is not a time for me to be seen with this uh, duplicitous duos and make things much worse for myself for my brand same thing with Ellen DeGeneres she did not want to be seen with this couple guys they are desperate to be part of the Hollywood community and at the same time they are being snubbed they appear without any invitation looks like they were not even invited they last minute decided you know we should go because we need to win over the Hollywood maybe somebody will offer us some deal because they are not getting anything from any company no sponsorship nothing so they need those sponsors so they need to be seen in public and this is exactly what they're trying to accomplish here but it all backfired because when people will look at these pictures they will notice that there was no Oprah Ellen and Megan and Harry picture together nor her smile were genuine these are all fake thing she uh, she is trying to do for a very long time I have some comment here Nicole uh, Tanya thank you Tanya good morning Nicole uh, Sunflower Lane uh, Cynthia Sunflower Vala thank you guys Rose Sunflower uh, Lenny Rowe Lisa thank you guys again uh, for your comments Samantha thank you Samantha uh, super um, thank you guys for joining this session leave a comment if you have any in the comment section below and I will talk to you very soon again have a wonderful day